Hey guys, it's Dahlia. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to teach you how to make basically a Thanksgiving extravaganza. We are going to be doing DIY crafts, DIY baking, and I'm going to teach you how to make a gorgeous dessert table. So, I can't wait to teach it to you, and let's get started. So sweet treat number one is candied pecan. So in a Ziploc, I'm going to combine sugar, cinnamon, and salt, zip it up, and then just give it a good shake. And now we're going to do step number two. So in this bowl, I have one egg white, which we're just going to whisk. To this, I'm going to add vanilla extract and some water. And whisk again. Now just pour all the pecans in and mix it up. Now pour the pecans into the Ziploc bag. Zip the bag and then just shake it up. So now I'm going to pour out all of the pizza pans onto the tray and spread them out evenly. These are going to get baked for about one hour and you're going to mix them every 20 minutes. So now I'm going to teach you how to make pumpkin cream parfaits and we're going to be using the pumpkin cake tops from the previous video and a cream filling that I have taught in a different video. So all you're going to do is layer some of the leftover pumpkin cake and this delicious cream filling, and I'll leave the link for you down below. And you're gonna layer it until it fills up the entire cup. And on the top, if you want, you can just break up some cake and make it into like cake crumbs. Now this next dessert is really cool, and it's apple nachos. It's kind of a twist on the classic caramel apple. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut up apples and sprinkle them with a bit of lemon juice so that they don't brown, and you're gonna arrange them on a plate nicely. Okay, so now I'm gonna drizzle caramel all over the top of the apples, and then I'm gonna drizzle some melted white chocolate all over the tops of the apples too. So now I'm gonna finish this off with some mini chocolate chips and some mini Heath coffee bits. So now I'm going to teach you how to make these super festive and easy mason jar candle holders that are perfect to put onto your dessert table. So I'm going to begin with hot gluing on fabric leaves onto a glass mason jar. Now you could use regular real leaves, which in that case you probably wouldn't need the hot glue. So now the next step is to mod podge all over your leaves. So just make sure that you had taken off any of the stringy pieces from the hot glue beforehand. And now when you put the Mod Podge on, you want to do it a little bit thinner than how I did it um, because you don't want any thick spots. To finish this off, I'm going to tie a raffia string around the mason jar and just knot it. And this gives it a bit more of a festive look. So the next DIY craft we are making today is a thankful tree centerpiece. So this is really simple. All I'm doing is filling a vase with gold pine cones and like these little um, decoration things. And then I'm placing these branches that I got at Michael's and arranging them nicely. Now I'm going to attach these tags that people write what they're thankful for on. And that's it. So now we're up to my favorite part, which is the dessert table. So let's get to it. So we're going to begin with wiping down your counter to make sure it's very clean. Next, I'm going to roll out this goldish yellow table runner that's also mesh and it's by Celebrated at Michael's. And then I'm going to place our centerpiece in the middle. Now I'm putting up some of the cards that you write what you're thankful for, but you should make sure to also leave some on the table so that people can fill them out and put them on themselves. Now I'm going to place the mason jars on each side of the centerpiece and then place candles in them. I recommend using a bit of a larger candle because mine is too small and it didn't light up enough. Now I'm going to place on one of my favorite desserts, the sugared pecans, and yum, they're so good. And then I'm going to arrange these candy apple holders that I found at Michael's, and I'm going to put the mini pumpkin pecan pies from two weeks ago's video, so I'm going to put the link in the description box below so you can get them. I'm also going to add on the pumpkin parfaits along with a truck for Thanksgiving sign that I bought at Target and wrote Happy Thanksgiving onto. Now I'm going to place the chocolate pumpkin cake on a cake stand from last week and then put the apple nachos onto a platter. Right before your guests come, light your candles. The last step is to hang up a really pretty leaf garland 
um, behind your dessert table. You can put it onto the wall with a thumbtack. I'm putting it behind my board. And that's it. This is the full dessert table, and I love how it came out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had such an amazing time filming and editing it because it was a little bit different than most of my videos. So, thanks again for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos every Monday, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any feedback, requests, or if you want to just tell me you made something and you loved it. So, thanks again. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye.